Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to take you through a bit of a like day at the yard, kind of yard day kind of vibe. So I have just finished mucking out. I'll be honest, I don't muck out every single day because I do run two businesses and I have to ride the horses and I prefer giving them like really good riding time. But today, nice quiet Sunday and it was quite a nice day to, to do it. So now I'm going to chuck Sunny out and then I'm going to get on G, tack him up. Well, I'm going to tack him up, then get on him. <laughs> tack him up, get on him, ride him, etc., and just take you guys with me. So, God, sorry, I'm really squinting because it is bright out here. Right, I'm going to get Sunny off the walk first. So let's, let's go. Hello, babies. It's really good for them to get a walker in the morning because it gets them a lot of exercise and like Sonny gets quite fat, <laughs> bless him. Um, man after my own heart. So, hang on. My timing with this is always really bad. Hey, got it. Hello, handsome. Gosh, you're a bit dirty. Need to give him a little brush later as well. Come on, baby boy. actually no point grooming him before a uh, before he goes out though otherwise he'll roll and be a nightmare right, i did bring up his fly mask and fly spray because it's very flighty right now oh sunny let's not go down the hill put your little mask on dude you're such a good boy oh come on you got a camel head where is the ear hole there we go <laughs> Give him a little, little spritz, just to, does not like fly spray. Most horses, I think, horsey people can relate. Sorry, Sonny. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Gee. Oops, sorry. Oh, come on, grow up. Go down, Sam. Yeah, so Sonny's going out in the turnout pen. Um, I do try and make sure he gets some field time as well, but as long as he's outside, I'm happy. It's just I can't put G and him next to each other because obviously G being a stallion, he would absolutely kill people. Oh, horses. But um, I think I'll, I'll do that later. So I'm gonna go and grab him some water and some haylage and then time to get G off. <laughs> A lot of people do not like turning out in head collars, but to be honest, with that fly mask, if I don't put it on a head collar, it, it falls off and he's a very good boy, so should be fine. Gonna get hay in my hair. This is so glamorous. I'm getting water. Look at these muscles. Tush. I think G's ready to come off the walker now. Bless him. Hello, handsome boy. Gosh, why is this always uphill? Hello, baby. Oops, I just spilt half of it out of the bucket. That was handy. I know, I know, I know. Come on. nothing he loves more than some fresh water you're gonna drain half the bucket and make me go and get another one he just licked me and he's all wet who grows like, i can't tie this up you starving creature get off why am i get off you're so naughty okay this is way not gonna work all right Gigi. Is my timing going to be as good? Yeah. Killed it. Hi, baby. Are you ready to ride? So we, I always put the chain around his nose because he is a stallion. And he just gets a little bit frisky going past the other horses. And the chain around his nose just gives you a little bit more, a little bit more support. He knows it's there. We don't use it a lot, but he knows it's a little bit more pressure on his massive head. Come on. I get loads of comments on social media. Oh, she can't handle him. She can't handle a stallion. Okay, Dottie, move. You're gonna get squished. 
Look, this is just me handling my stallion who's absolutely angelic for the most part. <laughs> but what you've got to remember is he is a stallion. Come on, you baby boy. You are so good. See, the chain is just in case. Oh, my mum, my mum thinks someone commented on the last video that there was some mouth breathing in the background. So she was walking, covering her mouth. Oh, bless you. You guys are evil. You guys are so mean. If you want to mouth breathe, you can mouth breathe. <laughs> I have a feeling he's going to poo. Oh, the tail's lifting. Are you going to do a stanky poo? Make me, uh, make me undo it. Hi. Hello. So I already picked his feet out, but he is filthy. So he's going to get a quick, a quick fleek. To be honest, I'm not going to give him the craziest brush. I should because we're on camera, but I'm not going to. Because that is not real life. I'm just going to give him a nice flick. Get all the dust and the dirt off and then, and then hope for the best. Might give him a quick bath after though, because it's quite hot today. So, you know, whoever thinks black horses or dark horses are cleaner they're not they're not they just they get so oh, you poo in great <laughs> oh, more poo picking today exactly what i love doing daisy come on at least you haven't stomped in it yet thank you <coughs> that stinks oh my god that's a ripe one don't get me wrong i'm familiar with the smell of horse poo but this one is dreadful <sighs> and if that's you eureka you little porky wait what no not porky what was it ponga that's the word i was thinking little pongy wongy come here I need to trim his mane, I might do that. I don't want to do it right now, because knowing me, I would do it wonky, but look how he needs a little trim. You got some gunk on your eye. I think he's been lying down or rolling. Look at the state of you. If every time I go to brush his tail, he stuffs his bum against the wall, and it's so annoying. Um, oh. Also, just for you know, any beginners or non-horsey people, please don't stand behind the horse. Just I know G pretty well, and I'm just giving him a quick tail brush. You should probably stand here like that. But if I do that, he backs into the wall. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Look at that! And he itches his bum. He gives it a little shake when he thinks no one's watching. G, come on, mate. Good boy. <laughs> He's so quirky. Like, G is one of the best, like, stallions there is. He's so chilled and calm. And like I mentioned earlier, like, I get a lot of comments about she can't handle him, she's scared of him, blah, blah, blah. But that's because I'm posting videos that I know are quite funny and will get views. It's when he, normally when he gets back after a day out or a lesson or whatever. He loves to come back into the yard and be like, I've arrived everybody. But that's just traditional stallion kind of behavior. Other than that, apart from the odd little whinny and the odd little frisky moment if he's bored, he doesn't put a foot wrong. <laughs> he doesn't put a foot wrong. Like you guys saw him lead in, that's normally what he's like. He's like a little lamb. And also, Gee, you're on TV. Stop rubbing your bum. It's so rude. <laughs> um, yeah, but also, like, I don't really know what people want me to do. Like, if he's getting bigger and getting all frisky and I move out of the way, that doesn't mean I'm scared. That just means I don't want to be trampled. What would you do? Would you guys just stand there? I think not. Gee, come on. You've been so, so rude. Right, that'll do. I'm going to leave these boots on because they're his field boots and he's going to go out for, for 
for a few hours after I've ridden. So I'm going to be lazy. Nobody judge me. Just going to put a little bit of Fliegen spray on, otherwise known as fly spray. Unlike Sunny, G's quite good with this. Little one to the nuts. I think I've seen a, um, a shaving. Sorry, G. Sorry, dude. Can't have uh, wood chip balls. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get his tag. Oh, excuse the state. I have not cleaned his bridle yet. This is a real representation of what it is like at a yard. As much as we like it clean and perfect, it is not always. Have I got gloves in this one? Oh gosh, I think I'll go for black or navy. What do you guys think? Claire, your decision. Black on it. Some gloves. I need to put my boots on in a second. Might do it now, actually. Abort mission. I normally wear Crocs to come down in, but oh. my balance isn't where it should be with this ankle. Every time I think it's fine, I fall over. Um, yeah, I normally wear Crocs to come down in, but I don't like getting shavings in the Croc holes. So, <laughs> so Air Force it is. I'm sweating really badly. I think my, my calves got really fat because like these boots, I've had them for like years and I'm getting, getting harder to, to zip up. I don't know if my fat calves have got fatter or if it's just really hot or both. Spurs, before anyone asks, it's because they are compulsory in an FBI competition and they do help to refine your dressage aid which means you can use smaller and cleaner more secretive aids also just before anyone kicks off at me jab jab jabity jab I'm fine <laughs> so these don't hurt these are nice rollers they like roll off the skin but I made a mistake on a TikTok recently and I said, oh, I've got spurs because my horse is like a giant stallion and everyone was like, giant stallion, it shouldn't be because of that. And I was like, oh God, I said the wrong thing. It's because of that. Right, saddle. G's a bit bougie. He's got two saddles. He's got his plain one and then he's got his pink one. Like all good stallionos have. Go navy today. Let's go navy. Look at that. Doesn't quite match, but we're nearly there. And he's weeing in the wash box. Thank you, G. Oh, his wees are the stinkiest wees on the planet. Where are his? Oh yeah. But I'm gonna have to wash it down. He's standing on the thing. Can you move, please? Rank. Come on. You need to move quicker because it stinks. <laughs> Bloody move. <laughs> Uh, I think it splashed me. Ah! There we go. I'm going to rinse this actually. What was I trying to put that back for? <sighs> right, tacked up. Little nightmare. Little nightmare with the wonky. I'll keep idle. God, hopefully that's not clunk in my microphone. You're so good. See, he's such a fidget to tack up and then quiet as a lamb. Make sure all of his things are in the keepers. And then safety forest G. Ugh. 
You are a giant. You are a big boy. That's the thing with G. He's just so big. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, like Jack's a stallion, little black Jack, my miniature. And he is probably way sassier than G, but because he's here, he's very easy to handle, isn't he? Whereas G just uses his size against you, even though he's such a good boy. He just kind of moves into you and like pushes you over. Other than that, you're a little lamb, aren't you? Little lamb. You're a bit of a nibbler though, so I don't trust you. I am boiled. It's so warm today. Oh. There we go. Nice. Nice one, G. I'm actually going to put my stirrups down. I think these stirrups leathers are getting a bit... Why did I say down? I'm going to put them up because these stirrup leathers are getting a bit loose. And so every time I get on, I feel like I'm going to hole up. But that's okay. What's that? I do, honestly, my groins. My mum just said, I don't know if you guys could hear, I need to uh, do some riding without stirrups. And I said, yes, because I think my groins have like shrunk or constricted or whatever the word is. Because my legs feel a bit tight at the moment. Oh my Lord. Urgh. Yeah, my legs feel really tight. So I keep feeling like I'm reaching for the stirrups, which is not what you want to be doing at all oh. yes I know it's very naughty that he walks off when you get on him before anyone comes at me again but basically I've tried so many times to stop him doing it but we went through a phase like about a year ago where every time I tried to pull him backwards he got a bit frisky and would rear up so letting him walk on a step is the lesser of two evils I'm sure someone will have something to say to that, but I don't want to listen. <laughs> oh, God. Right, we're going to just have a kind of a nice little walk. I mean, he's been on the walker for a while anyway, so don't need to waste too much time. I'm going to give him a stretch, warm him up, and then I guess we'll come back. <laughs> See, where'd that come from? That was a bit silly, wasn't it? There's literally nobody in. Boy, lots of transitions. There we go. It's quite a big horse, so forward and back transitions are really handy to get him on his seat and on my leg so I can hold this giant beast. I want him a little bit less on his hand. Come on. I'm not super sitting trot fit at the moment, so I'm trying. Good boy. Give him retake the rein. No, he's not in self carriage yet. Do some little moves. He likes a bit of travel. Good boy. And then we do a swap. Good boy. That's a bit better. I'll do a little shoulder in position. Boy, I just want him to have a little bit more self-carriage right now. So I'll just do, keep doing some transitions. Good boy. On my leg, on my seat. He does actually look pretty good though. Do a little change the rain, do it on the other end. Good boy. a bit strong today he did have a day off yesterday so he gets a little bit feral after a day off good boy do you like a travel a bit more forward He's just hanging on the hand a little bit today and it's quite easy with a big horse to just hang on their mouth and like hold it. But that is not the aim, we need him nice and light but into the hand. That's better. I felt him just 
give a bit. Good boy. Have a little canter. Oh God, that was an awful transition. Let's not do that. Sorry, dear. My fault. Oh God, an itchy nose. It's really dusty in here. Oh my God, it's so itchy. Okay, I'll try that again. I might go the other way. Uh, I'm gonna actually do a walk to uh, canter. Not great, but that's all right. We can work on that. Don't know if you guys notice, I'm just doing a little give and retakes of the rain, trying to catch him, catch him out for hanging on me. I'm just do like a little small circle. These are vital for for G. Gets him to squash his body and sit on his hind leg. Because obviously he's quite a big horse to squash together. And let's squash again because it tips him onto his hind leg. Good boy. I've obviously been going away a lot recently, so I'm not as riding fit as I could be. There we go, much better. I'm not as riding fit as sometimes. Change the rain. Do a little counter canter. He still gets really fresh in his changes, so I'm just trying to make it all easy peasy for him. It's better if he doesn't quite know what's coming. Good boy. Might do a walk transition. Oh my word. Uh, come on, give. Give. Good boy. A little bit chompier today. Relax. There we go. Pick him up. I am sweating really warm that was better than the other way good boy let's have a little razz you can see the power in those hind legs oh, hard to stop and it feels quite good does he look all right just gone a little bit on my hand after that little razz so just sitting him back a little forward and back transitions within the pace and then circles circles and corners are the best thing we can do oh boy that's better oh boiled have a little breather oops we're having an itch can't do that that's bad manners come on Did you just eat sand? I think you just ate sand. Great. <laughs> Come on, dude, let's get you bathed and in the field. You're a good boy today. I think we're both sweating. Excuse me, Daisy, move. Watch out. Oh, yeah, you are a bit sweaty. I'm going to give you a quick rinse. Gee, <laughs> shift. Okay, I didn't think that through. Didn't think that through, did I, big boy? All right, he's a nightmare because he's probably going to try and itch himself. Yep. I know this is not very safe, but if I try and fight him, or well, not fight him, but if I try and grab his head, he knocks me over because his head's massive. He just needs a little itch, don't you, baby? It's like clockwork, every single time he has a big itch and he drags his lips across the floor. You're nearly done. In your own time, sir. Like that. Takes me out with his giant head.
quick cold hose for G. <laughs> He's such a fidget. In his bum cheeks, there we go. All good. So I know I did leave it, oh, oh, come on. I did leave his boots on, which I know they're now a bit soggy, but anyway. <laughs> You don't like it under your tummy, do you? Gonna go in with the flare spray one more time. I'm not gonna put a rug on because I like him to have a little naked roll when he's out there, but I will put an eye mask on so he doesn't get gunky eyes. Yes. An old fly mask because he does destroy them but as you can see the ear holes were too small so we had to cut them off to fit his giant ears in please let me put this on please let me put this on you know you have it on every day poke, poke out the ear good boy he'll probably rub it off within the first five minutes of being out but I will be on hand to put it on again oh goodness Again, he needs his head collar on because this will not stay on if it's uh Wrap this around the little nose because you'll be in a little for a scar. Again, just for safety. I feel like it looks like I've kidnapped G and I'm taking him to a remote location that he's not allowed to see. Uh, stop it. Uh, stop it. What is wrong with you? You were on one today. What's up with you? There we go. Back in. Oh, all right then. He's such a grump. Such a little grump. Here he is. Ear is sorted and he's chilling. So guys, I'm gonna go in, they're both, they're all out now for the rest of the day. Not really much left to do at the yard other than a little sweep and just pop some bits and bobs away. Oh, oh God, what was that on my head? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little, I mean, it was more just kind of a tack up and ride with me, but it was a little nudge to what you do or what I do at the yard as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.